Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is the end of April, which means it is time for another booktube video where we talk about the books I read in April and the books I'm going to read in May. So let's get started because we have a lot to talk about. The first book I read in April is Stalking Jack the Ripper, which has quickly become one of my favorites. This book was so good and gripping. Um, you definitely think you know who Jack the Ripper is, which they kind of reveal. It's kind of uh, historical. But when you actually find out who it is, um, it is a bit shocking. Um, kind of, like I kind of saw it coming, but also didn't. So I highly recommend this book. It is uh, not too gory, but there's a lot of um, talk of innards and blood. So if that puts you off, um, don't read it. But I really love the story and the descriptions and I'm very into true crime. So Jack the Ripper being like the most notable unsolved case in the world. I was uh, very excited to read this. It was very good. The next book I read was The Widow's House by Carol Goodman. This was a uh, kind of suspense psychological thriller and at the end you really still don't know what happens. <laughs> so it's about this couple. They're both writers from New York and they end up moving back to their old mansion for their old professor. So it is quite interesting, um, there's a lot of twists and turns, some historical narratives in here, uh, but it's very, very good and uh, is a nice critique on kind of like psyche and stuff, so it's very good. And the last book, which is the one I'm currently reading, I'm about halfway through, is Nerve. Uh, this is nothing like the movie, um, at least the first 110 pages isn't. The only thing I would say is the same is the... Uh, concept of the game. So um, if you didn't like the movie, check out the book. It's a bit more intense than the movie. I think the movie was definitely uh, kind of dumbed down maybe. Uh, maybe that's not the right term, but definitely more like palatable for young readers where this one I feel like uh, could be kind of adult. So there is that one, uh, but I'm still reading it. And those are the only books I've gotten through in April. It has been a crazy month with finals and stuff and projects. So yeah, I've really only gotten through those. But for May, so we'll move on to the TBR part, I have a giant stack of books because midway through May, uh, I will be done with school. And before that, I will kind of uh, have some downtime for projects basically. So I am uh, going to talk about these. I can't talk today. I'm very distracted. So the first book, which I just purchased, is called House of Furies, which is um, a duology, I believe. And the tagline is they come here to die. And just the cover like really caught my attention. Maids coming, getting offered um, work at this house because they have nowhere else to go. The owner's very mysterious. Um, there's like some dark justice involved. I'm very excited. I haven't really read like the back of this one, but the cover and just the quick little blurb that I read. I actually was going to pick up Court of Shadows, which is the second one, but then I saw that this is the first. So I want to make sure I read the first, but even the inside is like super pretty and there's a whole nother series she wrote like four or five in that series so maybe if I like this series I can extend my psychological thriller horror kind of section uh, and get those but this is just the start because I'm really into like this dark asylum -y, old mansion type stuff so got this one the next one has been talked about on booktube a lot I believe it is called the Hazelwood. I got the paperback edition because I think this is much prettier than the black and gold edition. Um, I really love these colors as you can tell by my makeup. Um, but yeah, this is a witchy read so you know I'm down. I love books about witches, um, witchcraft, fantasy, magic, all of that goodness. Um, this was like marked book, book of the year by a bunch of different places. Some mother and daughter who have kind of traveled around a lot. Uh, and they go to the Hazelwood and it gets witchy after that. So I'm excited. Again, I, I've heard like bits and pieces from booktube, but I have really wanted to read this one. So I've kind of stayed away from any reviews because I want to read it for myself. Um, but like this cover, I is gorgeous. I just love it. So we're 
to read that. And a book I got a couple months ago that I've been waiting to read is The After Party. This is all based on like 1940s and 50s socialite Texas. So, you know, there's drama. Um, it basically is like the one friend spirals out of control and the other one is a little bit too... Um, she's a little bit overprotective and gets a little obsessed. So I'm excited to read this. There's some like drama and also some like... Uh, I think it was in the same category as like if you liked Crazy Rich Asians you'll like this book. So I haven't read Crazy Rich Asians yet but I want to get the series uh, and read those but yeah I'm gonna read this first. Then I'm going to read The Drowning which I talked about in my April TBR. It was on my list so if you want to see me describe this book you can go check that out. I will link it up on a little card here or down below. Um, but yeah this is another thriller. Then I want to read Tale as Old as Time. Um, yes, I will probably read some of these books simultaneously just because I feel like it's impossible for some of them, but maybe, oh my, but maybe if I really like some I can read, uh, you know, one in a couple days. But yeah, this is Tale as Old as Time. This is another Twisted Tale um, book in the series by Liz Braswell. Uh, it's about if Belle's mom was the witch that cursed the beast. So I know that's kind of a fan theory. Um, but I don't know if it happened before or after this book came out, uh, but I'm very interested to read it and kind of see how it goes and like where Gaston plays into it because he's supposed to be the bad guy, but I think the Beast is going to be more of the bad guy. I'm very interested to see how this book goes. And I have Wildcat, which I also mentioned in my April TBR. I will be getting to this in May. This is probably the first book I'm going to crack open and read after I finish Nerve. Um, but if you want to hear more about this, also check out that video that I linked before. Um, this one's just so long, I haven't gotten a chance to get to it yet, but I definitely want to read it in May. And the last book is the next book in the uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper series. This is Hunting Prince Dracula. I'm very excited to see where the story picks up compared to where uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper left off. And then there's Escaping Houdini, which I will be getting after this one because this, um, just if this is anything as amazing as the Jack the Ripper book, um, this series will definitely become one of my favorites very quickly. Um, so I may kind of read this and Wildcat at the same time. Uh, but yeah, very excited to read this one. This one takes place in Romania rather than England. So that will be really cool. Um, there's a lot of like castles and darkness in this one so I think this one's going to be a little bit more intense and that's probably why it's a little bit longer but that is my TBR and wrap up for the month I hope you guys enjoyed I hope to get back into reading a lot more over the summer especially I would love to get through most of my book collection and do a big unhaul for you guys because there will be one coming soon um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.